All right, you see how games have been postponed left and right and teams have had to deal with injuries that's messed up their whole system and messed up their whole season probably, right? There's been one team that just always seems to be unaffected by all of this. And there seems to always be some sort of drama going on at the other clubs, whether it's a contract situation, whether it's something else. Every single big club has experienced it at some point, but one. It just seems that players at Manchester City don't even complain about being on the bench. And if they do, the rotation is on point because if they miss five games, then they're going to play the next five games. And over the past couple of seasons, and especially in the last few months, I think we can all agree that this is the best the Premier League has ever been and probably the best any league has ever been. And yet, the table still looks like this. City is still dominating everything. It's crazy. And if we had to go deeper into this, even tactically, right, the Premier League probably has the best managers around. And if not, it definitely has most of them. But as good as all of those managers are, when it comes to the long race, only one comes out on top. Most of the time. And no matter who comes into the Premier League, this man's ability to innovate and adapt his tactics and maintain his main ideology, right, which is the Tiki Taka, is remarkable how after all these years, after all these different managers trying to figure him out, <laughs> he's still doing what he was doing 10 years ago. It's crazy. And of course, the recruiting power has been key. But even so, I've never seen a manager better at selecting the pieces that he needs for his tactics. I mean, look at their close rivals. You can spend all the money in the world, but if you don't get the right pieces it's useless i mean at this point it just seems like the world could be ending today and somewhere there's manchester city and pep guardiola playing making one of the best teams on this planet look like an average side i mean it just leaves me with one question for you guys is pep the greatest of all time or does he still have some work to do let me know